This is Seth Rosenberg at the Seattle Litigation Group, and I'm here to present another blog, this one written by Greg Simpson, attorney here. And uh, this one uh, is uh, being sent out to Chris Gerard, who is one of our faithful followers. Uh, and it's about the tort of outrage, which Chris knows all about. The tort of intentional infliction of emotional distress is commonly known as outrage. As a tort, IEED or outrage is a cause of action for which remedies may be obtained. To prevail on a claim of outrage, an individual must prove the following three elements. The defendant's conduct was extreme and outrageous, that the defendant's conduct was intentional or reckless, and that the defendant's intentional conduct caused severe emotional distress to the plaintiff. As stated above, to qualify for a claim of outrage, a person's conduct must be extreme and outrageous. This cause of action, therefore, does not extend to mere insults, indignities, threats, annoyances, or other trivialities. Actionable conduct must be so outrageous in character and so extreme in, extreme in degree as to go beyond all possible bounds of decency and to be regarded as atrocious and utterly intolerable in a civilized community. Additionally, this cause of action requires the plaintiff to show that she, he or she has suffered severe emotional distress as a result of the outrageous conduct. And while Washington courts do not require proof of objective symptomology to succeed on this claim, plaintiffs generally place their mental health at issue when they file claims of this nature. This is something to keep in mind when filing this type of claim, as the defense will likely request and be entitled to review the plaintiff's medical health records. Again, this is Seth Rosenberg, wishing you a great day.